Now back for a homemade mocha pot latte coffee. <laughs> I knew there was something more in the sentence, but somehow it just just. What's up, you wonderful people? Welcome back to another Snap Tip. Today, I want to talk to you about iMovie and like tips and tricks of how you can actually speed up your workflow on iMovie. For those of you who have worked on iMovie like me, I use iMovie for all my videos. You know that iMovie does not support LUTs. No, it just, it just, 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 just does not. It's like, nope, LUTs, nope, sorry, wrong door. That doesn't mean that you can't define presets and like use them in your daily videos and workflows to get a consistent look across your videos. Now, you can't apply a LUT in iMovie because, well, it doesn't support it, like I said, but what you can do is I want to show you a set of tricks that will ultimately allow you to speed up your workflow and get a consistent look on iMovie. And let's just jump into the computer and see exactly how we're going to do this. Okay, so now we're in iMovie. So if you look at one of the projects that I kind of have done, the recent one where I did the uh, Switzerland trip. So I've, I've actually color corrected. If you look at the color correction tab right on top you'd see that I've I've brought on the shadows and I've tweaked a little bit I've, I've made it a little bit cooler that's kind of my style I wanted like I like cooler temperatures I don't like it like yellowish tingy thing because if I move this lighter to the yellow like it becomes warm but like if you reset this video this is how I shot it in camera I now this is another key thing when you're doing when you want to do color corrections you want to shoot it as flat as possible um, what that basically means is you're going to bring down the saturations. You're not going to choose one of the default profiles on your camera. I, I can do another video about that, of how to achieve that kind of look. Let me know in the comments below if you want that video. All right, so that is how it would look like when I shot it flat, you know, with and, and, and then in post, I can bring in all the details. I can make the grass look a little bit greener and, and the back being red as opposed to it look like a dull red and I can like bring in a little bit of that. Now, if I want to achieve this look across it, right, it's going to be painful because the moment I go to another project, it's I've, I've lost all the details. That is going to slow down a lot of my workflow. And that means that I'm going to be sitting at like two o'clock in the morning with like a torch and a large pail of coffee wondering, why did I just shoot in like the default profile? Like that was just like, they're still gonna tell my story, but like that was dramatic. Anyway, so head over to projects and create a new project. I'm gonna create a new movie. Now, the look, let's call this presets. Let's call it color presets. Now that's the look I want. So I'm gonna copy over this. So com I'm, I'm going command C on my keyboard, heading over to the, uh, new one I created and I'm adding this right so automatically you see it's also got all the color correction that I want now at this point you want to tweak around to be more generic this is all personal preference so you know feel free to like edit exactly the, the clip that you want now this is a look that I actually like I'm gonna stick with this now let's say I want to do this for another project so I've been working on a new project which we went to a place called Q Mango Forest a couple of weeks back with a bunch of friends so let's say now this has not been color corrected so let's say i want that same look that i got in the switzerland vibe to this right all the tones it's going to be as simple as go over to the color correct select the clip of the preset that i like head over to edit copy or command c on your keyboard head back to the project now select all the clips that you want so you know what let's let's kind of dump this for it uh, let's do one where i'm in the car so let's do that Right, so I want to say Command A, select all the footage, head over to Edit, Paste Adjustment, Color Corrections. And automatically you see all of them have now got this new preset that I just applied with the color tone that I wanted, like with a cooler look. Now, bear in mind, this doesn't mean that this is always going to be the look that you're going to go with. You may still have to tweak it. For example, it feels a little overly saturated in this case, so I'll bring down the saturation. You know, in this case, I'm going to bring up the shadows and like just play with it the key thing is that it's brings you up to a base from which you can actually start playing with and that is how you can build presets so you can do more presets uh, about it for example i might want to do a preset about this studio session that i do so that i can color grade it better when i'm actually editing it so again the same thing head over to one of the projects so let's go to last week's road ahead i'm going to copy this clip My presets Add it here, make adjustments according to how I want it. Like I want it like this and cooler. 
there it is i've got another preset of how i want my studio uh corrections gonna be over time you're gonna build different looks you're gonna have to do fine tweaking after you've applied the presets because at the end of the day not everything fits all it's never going to be one size that fits all if you want to be a little bit more organized you can actually drop in a little bit of titles so what i would like to do is like drop a title here and we're just going to call it warm nature books one second and then drop another title over here let's call it tutorial slash desk I can just quickly sift through all of my uh, presets that I have and find the precise one that I want to start off with, copy off the settings, apply that to my timeline. That's it for me folks. This is today's snap tip. Let me know in the comments below if you like more of these tutorials and I can teach you tips and tricks of how to be faster on iMovie. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. This is an over, this still like two sips left. Oh, one really last sip. This is big. I should have an intro for snap tips. Yeah. I should work on an intro.